this dirt road um, crosses a highway and then about a mile north on the other side of the highway is where I live. That's my truck. And right in front of me over there, that's the Bow River. And if you look over the horizon, you can see the Rockies. Hey folks, Marty up north. Today is March 5th. Just showed you at the beginning uh, beginning of the video, um, I'm about uh, three miles uh, south of my house right now. I'm close to the uh, Bow River. And over my shoulder, you can see the mountains. So uh, it's been a great season of winter hiking, but I'm glad now that uh, winter is almost coming to an end and we can start uh, thinking about summer hiking. And I know most of you are into, uh, mostly into summer hiking. Uh, now what I want to do today is uh, I want to do something special, uh, something different. Uh, I've been tagged in the past on videos and I always wondered where these tags start. So today I'm the one who's starting a tag. So I'm going to tag someone today in this video. And the tag is I'm going to tag someone and I want them to tell me about, tell us about uh, their first solo adventure and why they hike solo. But before I get to who I'm tagging today, let me tell you a little bit about why I hike solo. So I, um, actually step back real quick. I log every hike I've ever been on. I'm an engineer, it's a, it's a habit. So uh, over the years, I've, I've kept a lot of records on all the hikes I do and about you know a decade ago, I transferred all those records to a spreadsheet. So I actually have a spreadsheet of all the hikes I've ever done who I've done them with, where they were, uh, weather, circumstances, dates, thing, mileage, things like that. And, and I'm constantly updating that spreadsheet. So I was updating that spreadsheet not too long ago uh, after my hike uh, a couple of weekends ago. And, and I scrolled up and I realized my very first solo hike was in 1986. My first hike ever was in 1985. It was in, uh, it was in June of 1985. It was literally the week after I graduated high school. I went on a hike with a friend named Derek Murphy. And um, then, I went, then I had the summer, then I went to university, and my next hike wasn't until the following summer. And my next hike was a solo hike. So I've been solo hiking since uh, 1986. Uh, over the years, I've done a lot of solo hikes. I'm known uh, fundamentally as a person who likes to hike solo. Uh, it's, I hike solo for, for, for several reasons. One of the reasons is, um, is just the practical aspect of hiking solo. When I was younger and got better at hiking and I wanted to go farther and farther, I realized, quickly it became apparent that nobody else wanted to come with me and I wasn't going to stay at home and sulk. So I, if I wanted to do a hike and I had nobody to go with, I started going alone. So going alone was, you know, uh, was out of necessity. Otherwise, I wouldn't have, you know, I didn't always have a hiking partner. Um, but the second thing is uh, I'm, I do have a, a, an internet presence and people think that I'm an extrovert and I'm very uh, outdoorsy, uh, uh, you know, easy go, going guy and very vocal. But... Uh, but I am fundamentally an introvert. Now I'm going to pause for a second as the car goes by. Um, and by introvert, I mean that um, the way I re-energize, the way I get my energy, I, you know, I have a stressful job. And when I'm done the stress of my job, I'm lucky I live out here in, uh, in the country, but that's not even enough. I need to re-energize and I don't re-energize by going to parties and hanging out with people. I re-energize by going out in nature and being alone with my thoughts. So, you know, the two real reasons I hike alone are, are, are basically that. I like to re-energize and, and experience it by myself and quite often it's a practical thing where I'm going somewhere um, and nobody else wants to come with me, so I go alone. Now, my challenge today is I'm going to ask one person, and that person I'm going to ask is young Amy Rout. So Amy's been, uh, I, I've been watching her channel for a couple of years, and I really admire what she's trying to do. And I think one of the things that Amy's trying to do is promote the sport of backpacking and, and rock climbing and, and the outdoors in general, but she's promoting it with it, uh, to, to the community, to women, uh, to, to girls. And... Uh, 
Actually, I believe that only about 30% of through hikers are female. So, so Amy's promoting that. And I know she's been on a couple of um, solo hikes in the last few years, but... Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this completely raw, unedited. That was my phone ringing. So Amy, my challenge is this to you. Uh, hopefully you, you'll get this video or you'll be aware of it. Can you produce a quick video, not more than three, four minutes, don't overthink it, and let us know why you hike alone and, and to encourage others to hike alone, maybe give a few tricks of what you do to prepare to go hiking alone. And please tag somebody and let's let's and only tag one person. I think historically some of these tags tag two, three people, but let's only tag one person. So Amy, I'm tagging you. And in return, you'll tag somebody in your video. But below in the description, let's keep the tag going of who is tagged by who and let's see where this gets carried away. So I just want to see how this circulates through the internet among our community. So there you go, folks. I just wanted to to to, to put it out there. I love to solo hike. I know there's other people out there and I want to hear from Amy how she prepares for her solo hikes and the advice that she might have for uh, young people who've never gone solo hiking and are hesitant to do it. Why should they do it? All right, folks. Uh, it's an unusual video, but uh, hopefully you still like the idea. If you do, give me a like, subscribe, and by all means, throw some comments. I want to hear your thoughts. Actually, not only do I document all my hikes, but I've uh, on paper by writing uh, accounts of them, I've actually been documenting my hikes on video or in photography for almost as long, actually for as long. Uh, check out this picture. This is a uh, picture of me taken uh, on that solo trip in 1986. And uh, um, look at the old gear that I have in this picture. So. There you go. I've been documenting my trips for a long, long time. Isn't this gorgeous? Um, so, uh, just just for orientation purposes, over to uh, to your right. That's the Bow River, actually, and the Bow River is a river that starts in the mountains. It actually starts. Um, if you go north of Banff, uh, then uh, you follow a ice fields parkway that heads up to Lake Louise, and then after that goes to the Columbia Ice Field, and then further on to Jasper. The ice field parkway goes up and then comes back down, and along the ice fields parkway, there's a divide. So on one side is uh, the the Bow River, this one, which flows south, and then north on the ice fields parkway is the Saskatchewan River, which flows north. So. So this river starts um, high up in the mountains uh, at Bow Summit Lake and then flows down here past the city of Calgary. So over that way about uh, 30 kilometers, 20 miles is the city of Calgary. I'm looking south over there. Those are the Rocky Mountains. Uh, the front of the mountains here are called the foothills and then they get definitely taller as you go in. And uh, I'm super lucky because this is my playground. Now, looking at this part of the Rockies is what we would call Kananaskis country. So a lot of the hikes that I've done in the last few years are down south in, uh, in the Kananaskis country, which is a protected area, but not a national park. It's protected and it's provincial. And I can hike in there for free generally. Uh, there are some parks in there where we have to pay to hike. The national parks, the big national parks here are Jasper, Banff, Kootenai, Glacier, Waterton, those big national parks are federally managed and we can hike in there and then as I head north I have what are called public land use zones and crown land huge 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 tracts of land in Alberta that we can explore uh, that's where I go hiking but that's also where I do uh, canoe trips up on on the rivers up